coming to you from sunny Alabama. 72 degrees. There's the lock on the shed. Slow process. But today, actually went and got the shoring and started out actually replacing my hitch with a drop hitch. And I put that on because basically I borrowed this trailer from a new friend. <laughs> Voila. And only the back wheels would touch. It was way up too high in the front. So stuck this drop hitch on. Drove a couple hours into Georgia and picked up the shoring. And that probably looks like lumber. Yeah. Those are the beams that go across the top. Those are the turnbuckle bases. More beams. Cross bracing. And the bottom turn turnbuckles and those are the top turnbuckles and that's the actual bracing which is if you've ever used scaffolding before that's pretty much what it is but just a lot heavier so those bad boys are going to be going up pretty soon and uh really that's about it I mean, really a slow process on the block i've been contemplating getting somebody to do it for me but as it may turn out I wanted to pour the top of the shed the same time I poured the deck of the house. I'm concerned that it's going to take way too long to get the shed done with all of its bracing for the pour. Because uh, all this stuff is costing me uh, 500 bucks a month, something like that. So <clears throat> I may just focus on this. And while this is curing, Probably let it cure for about a week. I could probably finish up the block on the shed and then just pour it separately, which means I'd have to rent a pump truck again. So it may be a wash on, on the cost of things. We'll just have to see how it goes. If the shoring goes up quickly and I can get the ICF deck up, and get it done pretty quick, I may try to get the shed done and then pour them both at the same time. We'll just have to see how it goes. Wish me luck.